Taiwan's recent decision to lengthen conscription was applauded by several U.S. international security experts. That's including Randall Shriver, who is currently leading a delegation visit on behalf of a think tank, as well as Matt Pottinger, former U.S. Deputy National Security Advisor. Using results from war games simulating an invasion by China, Shriver said that Taiwan would emerge victorious in most conflict scenarios with China. The Marines conduct live fire shooting practice. The new routine was allegedly taught by the U.S. Navy SEALs. There are a few differences in the new routine for shooting practice. First, the targets are now moving. You can also see from the start, the shooting is done in various positions. The shooting on the move, shooting in succession, and troubleshooting on the move. All these are different from drills in the past. Meanwhile, Project 2049 Institute Chair Randall Shriver, who is currently leading a delegation to Taiwan, said he welcomes Taiwan's recent decision to lengthen conscription. If you're only uh, serving for three months, there's, there's only so much time you can do to train. Uh, so extending uh, the conscription for a year does give more opportunities for that interaction and that training. I want to applaud Taiwan for lengthening conscription from four months to a year. A heightened will to protect one's home and defend one's country will be a deterring force to maintain peace. The former U.S. official also approved of the decision, while Shriver, citing results from a war game, said Taiwan can repel an invasion by China. It proves that Taiwan is defendable and that we shouldn't have a defeatist attitude. In terms of PLA activity, these kinds of activities can have several purposes, one of which is the political signaling and trying to affect mood and optimism and attitude of people on Taiwan. Shriver added that China will be meddling with the next presidential election in 2024 and said that Taiwan should stay vigilant.